Hello, everyone. Byron Hutloff here with the Platinum Real Estate Group at REMAX, proudly serving Virginia, Maryland, D.C., and now the state of Delaware. So if you have any friends, family, or co-workers looking to purchase a, or sell a home in one of the beach resort towns such as Lewis, Rehoboth, Dewey, Bethany, Fenwick, or in Maryland, such as the Ocean City area, I'd be happy to help. So thanks for thinking of me. It's July 1st, which means it's time for a monthly real estate market update. Now, 30 days ago, I reported that things weren't looking so good as the economy basically shut down due to the coronavirus and we saw unemployment rates spike. But I'm happy to report that things certainly got a little bit better during the month of May. We actually saw the unemployment rate drop from 14.7% to 13.3%. And if you take a look at this chart from CNBC, you'll actually see that each week over the month of May saw decreasing numbers of new unemployment claims. That's great news as more and more Americans got back to work, each state with their own individual plans for reopening. Now, you may have heard recently that a lot of states are seeing spikes or increases in the number of corona cases. States as South, such as South Carolina, Florida, Texas, and California. But I'm happy to report that if you take a look at this chart from NBC for Washington, you'll see that cases are on the decline across the board, Maryland, D.C., and Virginia. So that's great news for us here locally. Everybody's taking the necessary precautions. Each state is slowly they're beginning their own phases of reopening. In fact, all of the three states' jurisdictions have begun at least phase two of reopening. In fact, today is the beginning of phase three reopening here in Northern Virginia. So that's great news. In fact, also, MGM National Harbor, the casino and hotel, just opened up a couple days ago. So as you can see, the economy here locally is doing okay, slowly but surely getting everybody back to work as the cases of coronavirus are on the decline. So what else happened in the month of June? In the month of June, on June 10th, we actually saw the Federal Reserve keep the federal funds rate basically at zero. That's the rate that banks charge each other for borrowing money. What we like to know about is the prime rate. The prime rate is based upon that federal funds rate. The prime rate is used for things such as HELOCs, home equity lines of credit, and adjustable rate mortgage. So that's great news if you hold one of those two types of loans. Now, it does not directly relate to mortgage interest rates, even though that we've seen mortgage interest rates remain ridiculously low between three and 4%. So again, it continues to be a great time to buy a home with ridiculously low interest rates. So let's take a look at some market statistics. Last month, I was talking about how we basically saw a decline in the number of homes sold between five and 15 or 20% in that range. And I was expecting things to get much worse for the month of May, probably in the 20 to 40%. Well, let's take a look at some statistics, starting in Montgomery County. In Montgomery County, if you look at the total numbers sold, down 35.5%. The average sold price is down just a quarter percent, so that's not too bad. It's pretty flat. If you look at Washington, D.C., total units sold down nearly 39%, yet the average sold, sold price year over year is up nearly 6%. In Northern Virginia, much the same. Total units sold down 30%. The average sales price, however, is up nearly 3.5%. So what is that telling us? Low interest rates are driving the market right now. Buyers are clamoring for purchases, and yet there's just not enough inventory to choose from. What is that from? Could that possibly be from the coronavirus? Sellers are choosing not to put their homes on the market during this time period. Are we going to see a delayed spring market occurring right now, June, July, August, or later this year? Or will people just decide to sell in the spring of 2021? But the good news is, is that people are slowly but surely feeling more comfortable about getting out there and buying a home and putting their home on the market. And we expect to see statistics improving even greater in the month of June. So that kind of sums up our market report for the month of May. And as we get ready for the big July 4th holiday this weekend, I just wanted to wish everybody a safe and happy 4th of July. And if you're watching the 4th of July fireworks, there will still be fireworks here on the National Mall. However, I hear they'll be on a reduced scale. If you're heading to the beach resorts, all of them have canceled their beach fireworks except for one, and that's Dewey Beach, Delaware. So wherever you're headed for the July 4th holiday, be safe, be careful out there, continue to use your protective equipment, and we're going to get through this mess one day at a time. 
So right now, I'd like to share with you the REMAX National Housing Report. So once again, be safe and take care.